So hydrokinetic energy is uh, using moving water from either a river or tides to uh, spin a turbine without damming or impounding water. And so one of the big questions to uh, regulators and to resource managers is, is fish interactions with the turbine. So you have this turbine that's approximately 50 feet wide and takes up about 11 feet of the, uh, of the river water column. And the fish have to swim downstream as youngsters and then upstream as, as adult fish. And so the question is, how are the fish going to interact with that turbine as they, as they swim to and from the ocean? Fish hydrokinetic energy research is really in its infancy. There's been several various research efforts around the world. Uh, most of it's aimed at tidal energy research, and some of that's taken place in Scotland. Some of that's taken place in Bay of Fundy in both Nova Scotia and the, the US side in Maine. There has been some limited research in rivers, and that's all been done by AHERC. We've done research in both the Yukon and Tanana rivers, um, and then now we're starting up here in the Quijack River. Uh, the AHERC researchers are also uh, affiliated with, the, with PMEC, which is the Pacific Marine Energy Center. AHERC and PMEC are, are leaders in the field of fish research with hydrokinetic devices. And uh, so as the, as, the, as the industry develops, fish research will be a critical aspect of that. If we can develop uh, the hydrokinetic energy industry, which is a clean, renewable energy, and have it not affect fish. I think that's the uh, best of both worlds. Fish have really well-developed sensory systems. Early indications are that they avoid these uh, hydrokinetic devices. As the device spins, it puts out several different like pressure and turbulence and velocity fields and noise fields. The fish sense these fields and actively avoid the device both at the young stage and the adult stage. But it, most of the findings are highly species specific and site specific and so we're going to continue that research here in the Quijack River and see how the sockeye salmon respond to the turbine.